And what's the best sub for SES score? If it's like naturally going to 75 to 80, fine, go to 80. But if you can ha have like 70, 70 is perfect. And what is the most expensive purchase you have done recently? Most expensive purchase. It's Maybe a, it can be watch, shoe, it's whatever. A, it's a Tesla Model 3. Now in Surfer SEO, there's a debate on social media with the pricing structure for AI writing articles. Yeah. You, you are charging almost like 20, 20, 20 to 25 dollars if I'm not wrong. How was the workshop, guys? Nice. There's no shortcut for making money online. It's only work. You need to work. Hey guys, I'm Chitin Vaswani and today I'm sitting with Michael Suski and you're watching Inside Hustlers Brain Podcast and today he's a co-founder of Surfer SEO. SEO. Everybody knows that like in this SEO industry, like everybody knows Surfer SEO is one of the best on the SEO tool, like the best one out in the industry. So Michael, what are the new features in Surfer SEO? I, you were on the stage there in Chiang Mai SEO conference. What are the new features for Surfer SEO? Yeah, Go on, sure. Thanks for having me. Right? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, well, the, the most important thing right now is the Surfer AI thing, mm -hmm. uh, which will generate the whole article for you, like in one click. Uh, it's a premium feature, though, because uh, we do a ton of analysis. If you, right. if you imagine, like, how much content is 300,000 words? Yeah. How much is it? It's like a book. It's like a yeah. Bible has that yes. thickness, right? 300,000 words. And every single article mm. is generated with understanding of these 300,000 words or competitors content analysis, yes. NLP, figuring NLP, out the order yeah. out, printing the outline, creating the knowledge rating, yeah. you know, all that kind all of fancy that stuff that the bunch of prompt engineers at Surfer do and data scientists. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's one, one thing that is new and the other one is that we are almost there, still in beta, but we're almost there with the proper topical map uh Something which like yeah which will be basically uh the databases consists of keywords yeah but what we turned out to manage to do is to have a database that consists of clusters so mm -hmm. there are no alone keywords all the keywords will be associated with some other keywords yeah. that they should be ranked together and that was that was done with a single clustering pass which created like a huge knowledge graph of the whole exactly. United States database. So we could actually find ourselves, like you put your Google Search Console, for yeah. example, we'll analyze the keywords yeah, and keywords. put your, okay, these are the closely relevant, most semantically keywords. relevant keywords. The whole, like not even keywords, but the whole groups of keywords that you should cover together. So like the topical, inside the article. Yeah. So the topical map, the topical map and the AI and both together will do a really great job for them. Okay, and what's the best software SEO yeah, score? Because my yeah. honest opinion is that uh, when you get stuck, stop. Like stop pushing too hard. Like okay. if it's like naturally going to 75 to 80, fine, go to 80. But if you can ha have like 70, 70 is perfect. And now in Surfer SEO, there's a debate on social media with the pricing structure for AI writing articles. Yeah. You, you are charging almost like 20, 20, 20 to 25 dollars, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, actually, depending so on the what are your thoughts on that? I think that uh, with uh, the new GPT engines coming and we already have the GPT-4 Turbo mm -hmm. and when we are 100% sure that the quality is not like, you know, uh, going down, we might revisit like the pricing policy on that. Yeah, but because there was some kind of like, yeah, the like criticism on social media, like the pricing structure is but, irrelevant. Why should I pay like $25 if I can write with chat GPT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say that you should compare it more to, more to real writer than to scene writer or chat GPT. Because like, look at the, look at the process I, I explained on the stage where you're building the knowledge base for the article, the 300,000 words that you mentioned here as well. So with the chat GPT, you have to go through all of these pages, figure out these entities, like that will be a manual work. Okay, maybe you'll use GPT for sheets and it will be a bit faster a bit but faster. you will still spend 30 minutes or maybe an hour mm. to like crack it okay and then you look at your paycheck and see okay how much is my hour how much is my hour should okay. i pay surfer 29 or not 
and then you do the month and like is it worth it or not yeah. yeah is it worth it or not if it's worth for you do it if it's not worth it build your own tools that's it so what we can expect from Surfer SEO in 2024 like what what are the new upcoming features like yeah I, I would say that will be more like uh, automated optimization automated like yeah like uh, and scheduled like yeah like when when you write an article, you will revisit it in like in three months and then in six months to check how it's going. Like maybe you run it on something you didn't expect it, or maybe the rankings dropped and you want to do something. So I would say that that the biggest goal will be to uh, replace that uh, manual checkups with server automated checkups that will like do it, check yeah. the content. And then if there is an issue like missing entities, missing keywords, or some like whatever that might be wrong uh the ai will be able to uh recreate the content yeah, that yeah. will contain these missing entities so like a uh, surfer insurance policy on the ai articles that they were always up to date like every month like something new shows up yeah, sure. we will provide you more content on that topic so your article will basically will be scheduled to grow and yeah. scheduled to like get more and more traffic around it Okay, and what do you think about the latest Google algorithm? I'm, I'm about to show you because uh, uh -huh. I have some screenshots. I will show it to the camera. Okay, sure. Uh, for sure. No. Oh, uh, but you, you can say what you see. Yes. Okay. It's I can like, see. It's like uh, rough. It's, yeah. It's, okay. Speak. Yeah. yeah. It's it's growing. So uh, all of these uh, clustering plus AI techniques <laughs> didn't uh, really uh, got hit. Uh, so the, AI content uh, still works no, as long yeah, as long so, and uh, human editing, right? Yeah. We didn't edit these articles. Okay. No, oh, it's no. that purely AI content. Yeah. Oh, wow. the, the only work that was done uh, was interlinking. Interlinking. Yeah, because it's not interlinking automatically right now. But that's another like thing for probably end of this year or next early next year, Q1 next year to have like a bulk order for a whole silo. So if an article like is a part of a silo, like. 20 articles in the silo yeah and you want to get them all yeah. so if we know that before we generate so like this article is neighbor to that article is neighbor to that article and they're like created in a together okay. then we can uh, like make the common knowledge base elements and we can interlink and connect semantically relevant parts of each article to each other which will create like a really coherent interlinking structure for your website and it will be automatically done so it's not like really whisper that will like you know who yeah, the keyword is yeah, there but it will be figuring out mm -hmm. how to connect how, how to transfer uh, the user and the crawler the right way and what do you think about the programmatic seo and semantic seo in 2024 it's as for the programmatic seo i don't know why okay because uh programmatic seo was with us like 10 years ago and more and but, but uh, now it's getting more attention yes it's getting more attention uh it was it was possible to do it like back in the days mm -hmm. it's getting more attention now and that's good that's good that's i mean good. uh more and more people will try the approach and probably it will got devaluated as everybody will be trying it but we have so many issues that there is still a plenty of space for the programmatic seo and it can be still a viral topic of the next year just yes. because it it's it works it works and ai just made it a little bit simpler Yes. You could do it with like developers and a couple of variables right. and like you don't need to have like so much uh, unique content in there. You just need like a, a, no, a bunch of variables put in there and that, that will be it. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, semantic SEO is a big thing. And it's I'm, a big thing. I'm glad, I'm glad it's really popping right now. Because Corey, like Corey yeah, is like, like most... he's the one who's uh, just pushing. Because I never heard about programmatic SEO to be very honest. Like I'm not a more like technical guy. I'm more into like marketing, you know. But programmatic SEO is more a little bit more technical. It's semantic. And yeah, all. it's more. It's more. I think. It's yeah, technical. It's very. Yeah, it's more like for a developer. Yeah, than for the SEO developer like SEO guys, like normal yeah. SEO person will be like like for them will be very hard to digest this mm -hmm. thing. Um, I yeah. think that semantic SEO is growing that 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 much yeah. because. Uh, people care more and more about the text and Google is more and uh, more experienced with figuring out the user intent and like what do they expect from the query even like a couple of years ago we had this update the, when when they they managed to analyze user intent of a query yes. it was paired I guess uh, it is like a bank brand yeah I, I can I can't remember right yeah. now but um, 
it started like a couple of years ago and many people didn't like pay too much attention yeah but look at least we have nlp entities like NLP. google provide their api so people started to look at the at this but what's happening right now is much much denser in terms of like uh, uh brain capacity actually to to get the idea so what do you think like seo is going forward in 2024 like what changes we are seeing in seo we will definitely have more and more updates and more and more silent updates uh, uh, yeah program. they're like they are like uh uh, making out us used to we we might have this sge and there was like yesterday uh, there was a news that they are rolling sge to another 120 countries not sure yeah like languages I, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, you know, shit it's like sg is now getting, getting launched in every but, but we will see how they can handle the traffic and uh what i also heard uh, about the the update is that uh, e commerces didn't get hit. Uh, yeah, like Amazon, eBay, they all got pushed up. Yeah. So, um, like, um, like now I have some personal questions for you. Okay, so are you ready for it? Yeah, absolutely. it's not about SEO. Yeah, of course. So, what is the biggest regret you have in your life? I'll be a fu funny one. Uh, yeah, please go ahead and okay. be real and be honest. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, when I switched from skis to snowboard. Because I was skiing oh, since skiing, I was okay. four year old okay. and I didn't find any more challenging slopes in Poland and I couldn't travel. So I like, okay, I need a new challenge and I put the snowboard on and I tried to, to learn uh, how to snowboard. It was three years when I was, but after these three years, I managed to, to get down the slope. That was okay. But the day when I put my skis back oh, on, man. I almost cried because my muscles forgot how to use, uh, how to ski basically. Okay. So that was, that struck me. So that's my regret. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the, like the best tip you have to make this world a better place? People smile more. Smile more, yeah. be more kind. Yeah, I just smile at each other. Like if I smile at you right now, you see like this smile, <laughs> right? Smile. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. One last question. What is the most expensive purchase you have done recently? most expensive purchase it's maybe a, it can be watch shoot it's whatever a, it's a tesla model 3. it's a model 3. oh wow that's a bit of a okay yeah, so, it was a tesla. so thank you so much <laughs> michael for sharing your journey with my readers so, so guys if you're interested to like check out suffer i will drop the link in the video so you guys can check it out and thank you so much michael for being kind and be generous for this interview thank you so much really appreciate it bye bye awesome. take care guys bye